What's up guys, Jeremy with Everything iDevice, and welcome back to my Mac for another Mac app review. Now if you guys didn't see the uh, the previous video that I did, it was on the Hack Store, which is right in my dock right here. It's a basically an alternative app store for all the things you won't find in the app store. Um, definitely check out the video, link is down in the description. But anyways, in this video we're going to be covering a simple app, but I absolutely love using it for what I do. Uh, it's called IPSW Downloader, and you download it from the Hack Store. So if you don't have the Hack Store, you're going to need that. Um, I'm sure there's some other way you can find this on the web, but I'd recommend just having the Hack Store anyways because it's a great application to have on your Mac. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and launch IPSW Downloader, and it basically allows you to download any firmware IPSW for any uh, Apple device, uh, Apple TV, um, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch. So uh, on this menu right here, it allows you to select whatever device you have. Uh, you got the Apple TV 2. Um, Apple TV 3, you got Apple TV 3G, Rev A, iPad, iPad 2, iPad 3, iPad 4, so on and so forth. Every device there is, even the original iPhone, uh, all the way up to, or down here at the iPod Touch 5. So let's just say we're going to do the iPhone 5 GSM. Now, one thing that's really cool about this simple, simple app is it shows you uh, the status of a jailbreak. So obviously the current firmware, which is Apple signing on right now, is 6.1.4 for this version, uh, iPhone 5 GSM. And as you can see, there's no current jailbreak. But if we change the firmware to 6.1.2, which is the, the latest firmware that can be jailbroken, unfortunately, no, you cannot downgrade to it, but it does let you know what jailbreaks are available for it, which is really cool. So let's just go ahead and let's switch this up a bit. Uh, let's go to the the iPhone 4. And then as you can see, now it's yellow, which is basically a uh, semi-tethered or semi-untethered jailbreak for the current version right there. If we back down a firmware, as you can see, uh, that's a fully untethered jailbreak with Evasion or Snow Breeze. And you can go through and see all of these uh, for all the firmwares, it's it's a very handy application to have, especially for what I do, and I'm sure a lot of you would like this because my videos are obviously centralized around jailbreak stuff. Um, so it'll also show if there's an un unlock, the size of the actual uh, download, the IPSW itself. Um, it, unfortunately, this doesn't have the betas, uh, like iOS 7 beta, just because that technically is illegal to do. Um, it also has some large code right there. I don't know what that is. And then the build. Um, you can donate to the creator. Uh, and then if you want to download whatever it is, let's switch it. I don't want to download that. Let's download something. Uh, let's do like 6.1.2 for the iPhone 5. And just click download. And then it will go right in this little button here, which is the download section. As you can see right there, I'm actually going to cancel that. Uh, just because I do have a YouTube video uploading right now. And I don't want to screw the... Uh, time of that up so pretty straightforward pretty basic i think you guys get the idea of what this app does i definitely would recommend it to you guys uh, especially if you're into doing what i do it's a very very handy application again that's ipsw downloader you can get it from the hack store for 100 percent free um, again i'll leave the video for the hack store down in the description be sure to watch that and download the hack store itself um, so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video definitely throw me a thumbs up if you guys want to see more mac app reviews or what's on my mac uh, definitely let me know it on in the comments. This has been Jeremy with everything I device and I'll catch you guys in the next one later.